Welcome to Drunk Bible Study. This show's mission is to read every single word of the greatest story ever told. A warning to our listeners, the hosts of this show are sinners, but they're doing their best. There will be drinking and there may be some swears. They did say they'd try to keep it clean, but I wouldn't put my money on it. I'm Emily, and this is Drunk Bible Study, where my good friends Dedeker and Jace teach me, a born and raised atheist, all about the Bible. So Jason Dedeker, one of you is very jet-lagged today, but besides that, how are y'all doing? Now it's my turn. It's like we've all gone in rotation of who the most jet-lagged person is, (laughs) which seems to help, I suppose. It helps with with what? With the loopiness. With loopiness. At the very least. Reducing the inhibitions. And let me tell you, on a 16-hour time difference, I am loop. Bows. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm hoping that it comes out as funny because shortly before this call, it was mostly coming out as angry at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> that happens. It's just I'm, I'm also coming from a very extreme like climate change because yeah. I was in Singapore the past mm-hmm. few months, which is super warm and humid and tropical all the time. And now I'm in Seattle and my body does not understand cold what and temperature is supposed cold. to be. Yeah. I'm vacillating yeah. wildly between feeling freezing cold and sweating and it's just bad news all mm. around Jeez. well i hope that you can channel that jet lagged energy into this show because today is a very momentous day it really is and that's that this this is our first book after finishing the torah this is also we're starting a new book which is always exciting and for the Israelites, this is like a new era, oh, right? Because wow, Moses right. has been in charge of them for for the whole time. Like Pharaoh was in charge, and then it was Moses when they all got free, and that's been it. And now Joshua of Nun, the hot new guy, is taken over and leading the peoples. So now we get to learn what he's all about. I'm really interested. That is pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm interested to find out, like, I don't know. Was it God who chose him? Why? Who chose him? Was it God? Yeah, Yahweh Yahweh told Moses that he's going to be the guy. He's going to be the guy. It's this guy. And then then remember last time, I think it was last time, maybe the time before, I think it was two episodes ago, where... um, there was that thing about like, and then Moses in front of all the people, so there were witnesses, said Joshua's the guy. Okay. You know, right. he's, he's the new guy. Right. We have not cast Joshua yet. Oh, you're Last right. time I did keep a running tally of everyone we cast. It's still, the part of Joshua is still TBD. We Let's, gotta well, we got to learn about yes. him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. We don't know him gotta very get into well his, yet. We got to get into his brain space. See yeah. what makes him tick, what he's all about. Yeah, totally. You know who else we haven't cast yet is Eleazar. So like the two leaders of the people now are not cast. Right? Is Star still in the... Star? <laughs> Star? <laughs> is I, we haven't he... heard about a new head priest, so I assume it's we still haven't. him after Aaron. Because Aaron and Moses were peers. And yeah, they were contemporaries. when Aaron died, Eleazar... Yeah, Eleazar took over. So Joshua, to me, is like the equivalent of the like... Moses side of things to Eleazar's mm. Aaron side of things. Yeah. Right. So we'll keep keep them both in mind. Maybe he won't show up in this in this book much. I don't know. I know. I'm really yeah, we haven't heard from him much at all. But anyways, what yeah, are y'all drinking yeah. over there in your jet lagged states? Or just one jet lagged yeah. state. <laughs> just just one jet lagged state. Uh yeah, we are drinking another beer from our friend Kurt, wow. who made this for us. I know, it's super exciting. It is. So this is called Vasa, v- V-A-S-A, Vasa. Okay. Um, and this one is the same as the one that I got to have by myself last time, and now, unfortunately, I only get half of this one because Dedeker's <laughs> drinking the other half of it. Uh, that that one was a Baltic porter, and this is that same Baltic porter, but aged in bourbon-soaked charred American oak. Oh, the wow. char. I yeah. think that's what I'm tasting. Because see, when I taste this beer, let me take mm-hmm. a little sip. <laughs> okay. What do so you get? It, Tasting I get burnt a lot wood. of, well, very, very dark chocolate, almost mm, like mm, baking okay. chocolate. It's yeah. like, okay, this beer to me, it tastes like I fell in love with a baker and <laughs> the baker fell in love with me 
and he took some baking chocolate. He didn't quite understand how chocolate as a food of love works out. And he like made some chocolates for me, but just with baking chocolate and then also burnt it and then gave it to me and I ate it. And that's what this wow, year is that like. is a that, really yeah. specific story, Dedeker. <laughs> like just to <laughs> like, where describe this beer, and it's a little random, but good. That's what good it tastes job. like. That's okay, hilarious. so 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 what I take away from that story is that it's got that like unsweetened chocolate, yeah, sort unsweetened of flavor, chocolate, very bitter chocolate, a little bit burnt, toasty, yes, and yet there's love in and it, and love, yes, love. There's <laughs> okay. mutual love. I fell in love with the baker. The baker fell in love with me. Yes. Okay. 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 Got it. <laughs> well done. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. that's beautiful. Uh, and its and its name comes from a Swedish ship named the Vasa. Oh, and the Baker so. and I were on a we're on a warship, a Swedish warship. Ah, when okay, all this happened, oh, okay, that's cool, why. Cool, Obviously, cool. yeah, clearly. Um, that yeah, apparently uh, it <laughs> basically sank almost as soon as it was made, but was preserved perfectly in the mud and has been with with love brought out and restored, wow. and so it's like. In like weirdly good condition. Oh, this is a specific ship. This is this an is actual not... specific oh, ship, not wow. a type of ship. Yeah, amazing, lovely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would be funny though if it was a type of ship that all of them just sank almost <laughs> immediately after being made. Uh, it would be funny. <laughs> There's but a lot tragic. of things. There's a lot of things yeah. going on with this beer. Great. What are you drinking, Emily? Uh, I'm having a vanilla peanut butter porter. It is eight o'clock in the morning right now, so I was like, let's have a nice <laughs> breakfast beer. You know, and this I is like a good that. one. Yeah, it's it's really lovely. Made by Sog Tuck. Is that it? Yeah. But tasty as heck. And uh gotta love being able to like go buy individual beers at the, you know, store downstairs from my apartment in Shanghai. It's lovely. So and yeah. are beers real cheap in Shanghai? Uh not like this was I think six bucks. So no. It's almost oh, like okay. yeah. But you can buy cheaper beer than what this is. I bought it at like a bar right. where you could like grab individual beers and get stuff. So Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sweet. Well, let's All right. do this. Yeah. So oh today boy. we're starting it off. We got new theme music for the Book of Joshua because the is new boss is in this. town. I've been excited to get some new music going on in this show. We're going to breathe some new life into the leadership of the, uh, you know, the Israelite people. And we're also going to breathe some new life into the theme song for this book. And we're reading the first four chapters today. They're short-ish. Um, so we're going to be doing four instead of just three. Sweet. And with that, we want to remind everyone to read responsibly and drink responsibly. You can drink along with us or you can listen to us while you're in the car. But please do not do both at the same time. All right. Starting this off. The first of Joshua. Yeah, you the are. first day of Joshua. The first chapter of Joshua. happened after the death of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, that Yahweh spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister. What? Well, this is the first okay. time. Okay. Yeah. Saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. <laughs> In case you hadn't heard. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking um, about it for years. <laughs> Finally, yeah, and thank like, goodness. <laughs> everyone's been mourning for like 90 days or whatever, but in case you didn't know, yeah. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread on, to you have I given it, as I spoke to Moses. All that the light touches. Exactly. Uh, oh, yeah. All, all, all so that your so foot touches. So this is James touches. Earl Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we didn't even consider. Yeah. No, no, no that's just way too on the nose. It's, it's too obvious. That's true. Right. It's way that's too true. on the nose. That's Can't true. cast James Earl Jones. As... No, it's got to be someone what hip if... and hot. The Rock. I do like The it, Rock. No, it's Yahweh. The Rock. It's that's the rock. who we cast. No, it's The Rock. I know. But could could I make a pitch real quick? Real quick. I'm sorry. This is a tangent. But could we make a pitch for James Earl Jones as Pharaoh? Sure. Tell me more. Just like, you know, he's got the sort of the Darth Vader, you know, commanding, you know, the voice sort of that he is Darth Vader. Cool. Yeah, no, I know. But I mean, <laughs> but he was the voice of Darth Vader. And I feel like him being Pharaoh would be pretty cool. Sure. I'll allow it. 
I don't know why you're questioning me on this so much. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's been a long time since we've been around Pharaoh at all yeah. as a character. But we didn't start casting back then. We're sort of we having didn't, to go I back. I just imagine from... Pharaoh's a little bit more weedy, like less gravitas, a little uh, more whiny, uh, a little more petulant. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's how I think of Pharaoh. It's true, true. Okay, all right, all right. Back to the drawing board. Okay. <laughs> if Pharaoh comes back around again, we'll okay. have this discussion. Maybe we'll a find a guy time. that James Earl Jones can be. How yeah. About that? yeah. Oh, yeah. we definitely need to have him in the movie, though. We will. You we know. will. Yeah. Okay. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread on, to you have I given it, as I spoke to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, even to the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your border. <laughs> <laughs> That's very <laughs> strange. I wonder if, like, all of the translations are like that, because. That's a little weird way to uh, say I'm, that. I'm certain that I'm certain that they're not. I'm it's certain going down to the, the sun. The s- <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of them just say to the west, as a normal uh, yeah, human okay. being would <laughs> yeah, like describe that direction. Would say, Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous to observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Don't turn it from from it. Don't turn from it. Don't turn it from it. (laughs) Don't. (laughs) Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Okay. Don't turn from it to the... To the right hand or to the left, that oh, yeah. you may have good success wherever you go. You're not going to have any bad success, only good, good success. success. I notice this is not great success. This oh, is just yeah, good success. Just good. Yeah, okay. Middling. I mean, he's number two in the line of, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's true. it's a big shoes yeah. to fill for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate thereon day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. (laughs) Good success. (laughs) Haven't I commanded you? Moderate (laughs) success. Moderate success. Be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid. Neither be dismayed. For Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Hmm. Cool. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people saying, Joshua speaks. Yeah. Joshua oh, speaks, you oh, guys. Finally. Okay, give, us, give us some Joshua here. So what's he say? He says, pass through the midst of the camp and command the people saying, prepare you victuals. What's victuals? Oh, okay. Food, right? Like victuals. Oh. That's what victuals is based on. Really? It's okay. based on victuals. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Prepare you victuals. For within three days, you are to pass over this Jordan. Only three days. That's oh, not so a like, lot of turnaround. He's like, so they have to get everyone. Lunches. They have to get everyone from one side of the Jordan to the other. I, I'm assuming it's just the soldier boys. It's right? going to be the soldier boys in what I imagine is going to be a massive Oregon Trail style fording the river. Oh man, with your people are going to like. Hopefully, the baby doesn't come floating out. <laughs> oh, boy. That always happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun. I guess. I was imagining more like um, more like Daenerys with her Dothraki and her Unsullied, you know, in that like huge column of soldiers that you would see in like those big aerial shots in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Where that just goes on for like miles and miles and miles or, or spans and spans and spans, uh, you know, of, of soldiers all walking in single file. That's kind of what I'm imagining here. Single file, that just doesn't seem very... Yeah, not I, don't, single I don't file, think like, it's going to be single file. Can you imagine single file? No, that would be nuts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Although, that would hide your numbers, much like sand uh, people. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they walk ah. in each other's tracks. Yeah, mm. if you were interested in hiding your tracks in that way. Wow, we took a, a couple left turns Kay. there into Game of Thrones and <laughs> Star so, Trek. Star Wars. Wars. Oh, God, Good don't Lord, even begin with Jason. me. Jason. We were just watching Star Trek before this, okay, and so right, I got right, confused. Right. I'm sorry. Which, which, okay, yes, which back to... We were watching Enterprise, actually, because ah, we were okay. looking for footage for something else. Anyway. Cool. Yeah, we were not watching it of our own free will. <laughs> Don't right. worry. Okay. Wow, Prepare you geez. victuals, for within three days you are to pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your God gives you to possess it. To the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to the half-tribe of Manasseh spoke Joshua, saying, <laughs> Every Remember time. the word which Moses, the servant of Yahweh, commanded you, saying... Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember this. Oh, you do? I remember this. Wait, do you from remember? like Bible school? 
No, from from us reading this book. <laughs> no, like l- read who the list of who he said that to. The the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half tribe of Manasseh. You remember the deal with them? That they stayed behind. They're, they're oh. staying back where they are now. They're yeah. sending soldiers still. Yeah. And to he's help. like, hey, hey, you guys though, remember the deal. Right. You got to come with us to take. Yes. Canaan. But then you're then leave, you come you're back coming and, back. Oh, oh yeah, because they right, wanted to right. like hang out and because the land was still good there and they're like, let's not leave the land. Yeah, and they had a good place for sheep to be folded. Yeah, and, and lots of that. cows. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a little <laughs> recap a little here of all that we just said. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um saying, Yahweh your God gives you rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall abide in the land which Moses gave you beyond the Jordan, but you shall pass over before your brothers armed, all the mighty men of valor, and shall help them, until Yahweh have given your brothers rest, as he has given you, and they also have possessed the land which Yahweh your God gives them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and possess it, (laughs) which... Moses, the servant of Yahweh, gave you beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise. Also known as the East. Yes. (laughs) They answered Joshua, saying, All that you have commanded us, we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. According as we listen to Moses in all things, so will we listen to you. Only Yahweh your God be with you, as he was with Moses. Whoever he be who shall rebel against your commandment and shall not listen to your words and all that you command him, he shall be put to death. Wow. Colon, only be strong and of good courage. That made no sense at the end there. (laughs) (laughs) I guess they're saying like, you're going to die if you don't do this. So be strong and be of good courage. So you don't die. Yeah, Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. I like that. That's good. That's the end of the chapter. Oh, okay. Wow. 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 That's yep. so short. I it's know. like 18 verses. I know. It was amazing. What, do you think that, I, I like... I see that you've given quite a bit more to Emily here. Well... <laughs> it's fine. Do you think that that's okay. going to be the precedent that's going to be set, though, that, like, we're going to be... The, have these, like, really short chapters. It's going to just be bada-bing, bada-boom. We're good. <laughs> Well, yeah, we didn't talk about this before we got started, but the book of Joshua is only seven episodes. What? It's 20, 24 chapters, and we're going to do it. Yeah, I, so I Joshua, know, right? Joshua steps in. He's like, Moses, love the guy. Talked for a long time is the thing. We're going to yeah. be efficient <laughs> this yeah. time. We're doing yeah. new well, things gonna, in this camp doing now. Doing new things. Yeah, I'm riding on a platform of, of verbal efficiency. efficiency and getting stuff Good. done only three days before you got to pack up and go over the Jordan. Like, no more hanging around. That's true. It's not like, hey, y'all, just so you know, in 40 years after all of you have died, we're going to go take <laughs> uh-huh. this land. He's yeah. like, no, we're doing it in three days. Get ready. It yeah, really exactly. I love yeah. it. Everyone good? Cool. We're going to ford that river. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So yeah. Joshua 2. Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out... Of Shittim? <laughs> yeah. Shittim? <laughs> does it say shittim? that? Sh- really? It does say Shittim. S H I T T I M. Cool, yep. cool, cool. Shittim. Just so everyone, <laughs> everyone knows, this says Shittim. Oh, trust me, the number of times that I giggled over this in <laughs> oh, Sunday really? school and in elementary school. Oh, yeah. There's I, no I, getting around it. I just feel like my teachers must have come up with a different way to say it. Shitam. Like shite. 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 Like no, that's not any sh- better. Shitam. Shitam is not any better. Good right. God. Shoot, shoot him. Do they say shoot him? Oh, that would be pretty good, though. <laughs> shoot him. Yeah, they shoot call him. Shucks him. That's what they call shucks him. <laughs> All right. Well. I did really like in the new Toy Story movie that what he says, oh, shoots and ladders. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's cute. cute. I haven't seen like, it. I need to see it on the even plane. Even softening shoot. Even more, yeah. Right, I haven't seen it either. Yeah. Okay, so it's Joshua the son of Nun sent out of shoot him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> shoot him. him. <laughs> Two men as spies secretly saying, "Go view mm. the land and Jericho." Wait. Okay, we've been hearing of this Jericho. I know that it was like a, an ill-fated '90s or t- early aughts TV show. Um, oh right. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, "Where are you going with this?" Yeah. No, it was a TV show back in the day, but. uh yeah, I, I I don't know much about it except for you know it's a place, so well, you're gonna learn a lot more about it. So Ooh, stay okay, tuned. wait, is it it's gonna is come it back. in this? Is it Joshua and Jericho? I, I yes. think so. Yeah, yeah I think it's, I think the I story think it's happens right in this book. I think oh, right it's now, right now. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. oh all okay. right. Well, here we go. Okay, they went and came into the house of a prostitute whose name was Rahab. R- Rab. Rahab. <laughs> Wait, that always, always always taught to me is Rahab. Rahab. That's how I learned oh, it, but that does Rahab. seem wrong. <laughs> well, it like looks Rahab. like Rahab. 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 Uh, I, mean, honestly, oh, I like that. Rahab. 
the way we learned it growing up is probably wrong. It's probably <laughs> wrong, fair. but it was always taught to me as Rahab, but okay. Okay. that's well, probably wrong. So they went and came into the house of a prostitute whose name was something, Rahab, and lay there. <laughs> it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in here tonight to the children of Israel to search out the land. The king of so Jer- good job spying. I know, like <laughs> a real good job. Your so first came night in. on your way. The king, it makes it straight to the king. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's like, uh, finds out not only not only are there two strange men in your town, but we know exactly where they came from. And yeah, right. They're Israel. For. Yeah. What the heck? So, <laughs> the king of Jericho said to Rahab, "Oh, sent to Rahab, saying, bring forth the men who are come to oh, you.'" Oh, and also immediately found out where they're staying. Yeah, jeez, the worst spies ever. <laughs> Yeah, well, we can't expect too much. It's okay. They've had like a long journey. They're probably tired. Yeah, Joshua just probably well, wasn't picked expecting out two... this three day turnaround. Well, maybe Joshua just picked like two random guys and was like, ah, oh, yeah, you guys look spy like. Let's take, yeah, go <laughs> over there. I don't know. And then they turn out to be terrible. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so or they'd been putting off spy school. They're like, we'll get some notice. Moses usually gives us a few years' notice before exactly. these things. And then it's like, whoops, nope, doing it tomorrow. Yeah. That's like studying, yeah, yeah, not being able to study for like a giant <laughs> final exam that's happening tomorrow. Right. So bring forth the men who are come to you, who have entered into your house, for they have come to search out all the land. Uh oh, I mm. see where this is going. The woman took the two men and hid them. Oh, no, I didn't see where this is going. (laughs) The woman took the two men and hid them. And she said, yes, the men came to me, but I didn't know whence they were. And it happened about the time of the shutting of the gate when it was dark that the men went out. Where the men went, I don't know. Pursue after them quickly, for you will overtake them. (laughs) And then she hid them. That's amazing. I love it. Why did she do this? I like I like that Emily's reading of it. I don't know how much of this was you being a good actor and how much was just like trying to parse the words as you're reading, but it a felt little, very like... A little like column she's, A, a little column B. She's uh, making it up as she's going right. along. She's like, they, at the time of the gate <laughs> closing, they left here They bounced, and Dan. They're gone. Went, go, go find them. I don't know. Oh, you should go find them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, so Rahab is also a bad spy hider. Oh right. yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, like, maybe. I know. Well, maybe we'll see. We'll see no, how she they, does. They apparently do. But she had brought them up to the roof and hid them with the stalks oh. of flax, like flaxseed, which she had lain okay. in order on the roof. The men pursued after them the way to the Jordan to the fords, like fording the river. As soon as those who pursued after mm. them were gone out, they shut the gate. Before they were laid down, she came oh. up. What? Oh, so oh, That's so like clever. they they shut the gate and like the pursuers like bounced and couldn't get back in. I guess. Yeah. No, that's clever. Yeah. So she's she's like, yeah, they went outside the gates that I know are about to close. Mm, okay. So. Ra- okay. Rahab, Rahab, whoever you are, awesome. Like, yeah. Good spy hider. Better yeah. than these spies are <laughs> at being spies. Exactly. Well, thankfully, it's like she has to work so hard. She has to work twice yeah. as hard because they're such bad spies. Seriously. Yeah. Before they were laid down, she came up to them on the roof and she said to the men, I know that Yahweh has given you the land and that the fear of you has fallen on us and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how Yahweh dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt. Mm. Ah, okay. And what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon and to Og, whom you utterly destroyed. (laughs) Wow. Even though we saw their big bed, we know how big they were. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But you beat them anyway. As soon as we had heard it, our hearts did melt. Neither there remain any more spirit in any men because of you, for Yahweh your God, he is God in heaven above and in the earth beneath. Well, see, I'm really worried. I'm not going to lie. I'm really worried that, like, for whatever reason, God is going to be like, she helped out, but we're going to kill her anyways. I don't know. Oh, no. I mean, she is a prostitute. Exactly. But yeah, but that's like uh, the world's oldest profession. Come on. I know. I'm worried. I'm worried. I am, I agree. I, I agree. agree. I'm, I'm worried, worried too. But yeah. so far, she seems like a badass. Yeah. So. She is, though, one of the few named yeah. female figures in the Bible. Well, that, the that probably spells unquote, total doom then. 
Oh, no. One of the few, quote unquote, like role models. That's always mm. the problem in the Christian church. I remember growing up is mm. is that it's like men get so many, quote unquote, role models right. in the Bible and women really get like five. Honestly, yeah, yeah, when you think about it. Yeah. And then I think with, when it comes to Rahab, it's like, well, she's a prostitute. So, but I mean, but she helped them, but she was a prostitute. But maybe it balances out. Yeah. yeah maybe we can justify it if, like, she was, like, it wasn't her choice. Or you know, they tried some acrobatics to, to justify it. But so far, I think she's awesome. Well, yeah. but I'm going to write it down for our bonus content to look yeah, a little bit look more into Rahab. Oh, Rahab, that's a good idea. Yeah. What she's about. Well, look at the next convention we go to. I look forward to seeing everyone's Rahab cosplay. <laughs> oh man! Well, wait. Who? We also need to decide who plays Rahab. Yeah, I, oh, I know. You're right. I feel like this is probably about all that we're going to get of her. She's either going to yeah. die or just like completely not be in the rest of the book. So we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, therefore, please swear to me by Yahweh, since I have dealt kindly with you, that you also will deal kindly with my father's house and give me a true token that you will save alive, save alive my father and my mother, oh, I see, and my brothers and my sisters and all that they have and will deliver our lives from death. She's very smart. She's kind of making a deal with the devil. She is very smart. Yeah, but she is kind of. I mean, from the perspective of the Jerichoans or the, the Jerichites, Can- the Ca- do the count as Canaanites? I suppose. Jerichoans. The Jerichoans. The Jerichoans. <laughs> Wait, why is she making a deal like with the devil? Because she's just essentially saying, like, <laughs> please don't kill this group of people, and I'll help you out. Yeah, I mean, she's very smart. yeah, because she is like yeah, yeah, I'm going right. to help these spies just in exchange for as long as you protect me and mine. Yeah. And whatever you can I raise think the that's city. a fair I trade. Know. I think she's just being intelligent about it. Uh, but yeah, no, I think she's God's being very probably smart. gonna hate it. But it, so. it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we'll know though. It's on, it's on Yahweh's side. We'll see. We'll see. No, he I balls know. in his court. Yeah, balls ball, in your court, yes, Yahweh. The, the ball is ever in your court. All right. <laughs> come on, come on, the rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, rock. The men said to her, "Our life for yours. If you don't utter this, our business." And it shall be when Yahweh gives us the land that we will kind we will deal kindly and truly with you. Then she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was on the side of the wall, and she lived on the wall. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> like what does that mean? Like, she lived on the wall, like the Watchers on the wall, like back to Game of Thrones. <laughs> No, oh, I, think I like that. It was, you know, it was probably a quite nice apartment. I don't know. Like it was built that into the wall. She had a window. She had a window that faced out. To the she window a, to the wall. Know, she had some northern exposure. Down these Israelites crawl. Oh my gosh, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <That> was... <laughs> there you uh, go. Do you want me to look up a translation and see if we can figure out what, what's happening with this her living on the wall? No, I think I think we're not gonna get any clarity. I think it's just that it is what it is. It's what it says on the tin. She lives her on, on her, apartment is, <laughs> her apartment is her apartment exactly like into the wall. 773 on the wall apartment number 2 <laughs> <Yeah>. Jericho <laughs> uh, where are we Canaan Canaan uh, yeah. 23245 <laughs> <laughs> cool <laughs> okay fine you're right you're right. I can't. I can't find anything. What? Wait. What verse is this? 15. Oh, I'm in the wrong book. Fifteen. That's why I couldn't. Wow. Find it. Okay. Yeah. Joshua fifteen. That's, that's two fifteen. It's, well, it's Joshua two. We're two cruising along. I, I I assumed for sure we were still in Joshua one. Nah. Uh, let's see. She dwelt upon the wall. You know what? I know who's gonna set. It says me. she lived inside the wall. I know who's gonna set me straight here. Is uh, my good buddy Tyndale. Mas- massage. Oh. <laughs> T- Tyndale is gonna what? What's happening? Tyndale is not coming up in my search. What? What is happening <gasps> right now? No. Has did, did Bible study tools take away Tyndale? Oh. No, surely not. That can't. Surely, that no, can't. That be, can't be. Right. Hang on. Right. They knew that see. we were Let making a mockery of it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like we've heard this they guy Jay's words. doing readings of it, and we're not okay with that. Yeah. That's good. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we can we can okay. do this manually. Let me okay. click on Tyndale. Okay, great, great. Oh, for some oh, dude. Yeah. Tyndale's gone? No, Tyndale's here, but the only books they have translated are the five books of the Old Testament. They have oh. the book of Jonah and then all of the New Testament. Oh wow. Wow. Maybe Is that that's a thing? all Did the Tyndale Tynd- only maybe. Is that 
Yeah, well, Tyndale was doing it all by himself, and then he got killed, so maybe he didn't have time to do all of it. Maybe he only he did the Old Testament, time. right? But this they, was a period of time where he had nothing but time. They killed him and burned him at the stake. He didn't have a lot of time. Gosh. I, yeah, I'm so upset right now. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Yeah, Because he was. He yeah. was. He yeah. was running out of time. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Okay, well, we've gone no, off on, on a though. big no, tangent No, he here. definitely, you, hang on. Are you finding it? Because the Wikipedia says that he did, okay, he did <laughs> translate additional Old Testament books, which includes Joshua, Judges, Samuel, okay. Kings. They were not published and have not survived in their original forms. Oh. He did run out of time. They burned him <laughs> to the stake. Oh, God. My boy, Tyndale. we got to quit this podcast if there's no more Tyndale. <laughs> there's, there's no point. <laughs> like, there's no, no point going there, on. there are other funny things, but there yeah. Def- okay, we can rely on the message. But we've criticized other podcasts who've set out to read the Bible and have failed, and now I understand why they stopped, because there was no more no Tyndale. Tyndale. They were like, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here's my question, Jace. If you I'm were gonna, so upset if, right no, now. Hang on. I'm sorry. If you were gonna read that verse as Tyndale, what would it sound like? Oh, okay. Can you, yeah. All can right. You improvise it. Let me just channel the spirit of of Tyndale. So this is Harry the Tyndale or whatever his name was. <laughs> Wait, what's Harry, his name? Wait. Harry Tyndale. I like that. Harold Tyndale. <laughs> Harold Tyndale, <laughs> but known by Harry to his friends. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, it's uh, okay. And then she, by a corridor, let down through thy window. Wind of, probably with a V, probably, vind, vind or something. Colon, uh, for her hesse was a on Wallace Hyder, and <laughs> on Wallace Hyder lived she. Okay, That's good, beautiful. good job. Stunning. Thanks. There you go. Good job. Well, we got it. I hope that clarified well, you for know, you. Well, you know, until we reach the book of Jonah, clear as mud. this is going to be on you to... To oh gosh, Tyndale. When we're feeling like it, okay. Good, good right. luck. Uh, I, I'm up to the challenge. I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> Don't right. do too much though, because someone might burn you at the stake. If that's, you know. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that's. True. I think we're already in dangerous territory. Of we're already stake in stake burning. Burning. Oh, I definitely <laughs> am not going to walk into a church. I will be struck by lightning. But yes. All right, here we go. She said to them, "Get you to the mountain, lest the pursuers light on you, like like run after you. Something they're they're light on your heels. Yeah, they're like hot on your tail." Tr- I think jump on you. You know, like a bird lights on a windowsill. You know, like a cat jump on, on you? Wow. Okay. And hide <laughs> yourselves. Perch, perch on you. There you go. Yeah. And hide yourselves there three days until the pursuers be returned. And afterward, may you go your way. Oh. Go your own way. You know, like a flute Mac. You can Mac. go your own way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. Yes. The men said to her, we will be guiltless of this, your oath, which you have made us to swear. Behold, when we come into the land, you shall bind the this line of scarlet thread in the window. Oh, which you did let yeah. us down by. This is like tangled slash the scarlet letter slash like, <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is it? Nathaniel Haw- Hawthorne, eat your heart out. Okay, so... I love it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you shall gather to you into the house of your father and your mother and your brothers and all your father's household. It shall be that whoever shall mm. go out of the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be on his head and we shall be guiltless. What does this mean? His blood shall be on his head. Oh, it's, it's like, you. OK, all the people you want us to save, you need to gather into your sweet wall side apartment. I'm sorry. I'm really this. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about where this is going. <laughs> I, I think I mean, I get it, though, because they're saying like, all right, look, here's the you know, the 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 sheep's blood that you're going to put on the door so that we don't come kill you. Right. This is like the signal, the, cor- the symbol, yes. the symbol that you guys are cool. But. If they're like in the army and we kill them, we can't. That can't be our right. fault. Like, we're we, not going to we, go yeah. around asking every soldier. You related to Rahab? You right. know Rahab? Right. You know no? Rahab? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, his, I get it. I get it. Okay. So his blood shall be on his head and we shall be guiltless. And whoever shall be with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head. If any hand be right. on him. Okay. I see. Yeah. So but, yeah. 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 But if you utter this our business, then we shall be guiltless of your oath, which you have made to Ooh. made mm-hmm. us to swear. That makes sense. So if you double cross us, then, yeah, then but all that's we be du- yeah. double crossing you. She said, yes. according to your words, <laughs> <laughs> so be it. She sent them away and they departed and she bound the scarlet line in the window. 
They went and came to the mountain and abode there three days. Okay, so we're six days in. Okay. Until the pursuers were returned (laughs) and the pursuers sought them through out all the way, but didn't find them. Then the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over and came to Joshua, the son of Nun, and told them all that had befallen them. They said to Joshua, like, we didn't we didn't really do much spying, honestly. Like, yeah, we sorry, we got, we got a cool prostitute. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. We hung out in her house for a while, but we, we weren't Not, getting yeah, the yeah, yeah, and stuff. Like, no, 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 no. We were wheeling and dealing. We were wheeling and dealing. Yeah. And like, she was, you know, she helped us out. That. She threw them off the scent. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and uh, trust me, it's great. And we're going to save her. And, and we were, honestly, we were in the mountains for three of the days. It was just <laughs> that one night at her place. Like, totally. Not, not a big deal, yeah. <laughs> They said to Joshua, truly Yahweh has delivered into our hands all the land, and moreover, all the inhabitants of the land do melt away before us. That's the end of chapter two. You know what? I like Joshua's efficiency here, because if we remember, the same thing happened 40 years ago, where Moses sent in 12 spies to go to Canaan. And they came back and remember 10 were bad and two were good. And Joshua was like, what if I just sent two good ones instead? (laughs) What if I left (laughs) out the 10 bad ones? He sent two bad spies. Well. (laughs) But good men, but bad spies. Good men, but bad spies. I like that. Yes. Mm. Can we, did we ever get names for these boys? We didn't, huh? No, No, they're nameless boys. But I want to make a movie of them. It's called like. The Jericho Spies, colon, good men but bad spies. <laughs> and it'll be sort of a comedy. It'll colon. Be they bumble around. It. Kind of a buddy cop movie, maybe. They bumble around. And... Yeah, like that movie, The Man Who Knew Too Little. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, who oh, was yeah. that in that? Steve Martin? Was it Henry like Cavill? That? No. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't it's fine. Henry Cavill and Steve Martin, you just threw out two very different <laughs> archetypes of actors. I mean, I, I kind of love it. I kind of love the two of them together. I would like to see that. Oh, like a May- buddy cop no, with the two of them. That's who it is. Yeah. We're okay. casting Henry Cavill and Steve Martin as these two bumbling spots. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even though they have a bit part, I don't care. Because no, I like that's, it. that's probably that's how long we can afford to have Steve Martin and Henry Cavill. <laughs> Wait, is Henry Cavill, like, is he, maybe he could be Joshua, just because I want to see some, like, eye candy. Yeah, Uh, yeah, I do, I would appreciate seeing more of Henry Cavill just in general. It was Bill Murray, by the way, I was (laughs) way off. (laughs) Oh, wow. We could do Steve Martin and Bill Bill Murray. (gasps) Could we do Spies Like Us? Which is what? Um, who was that? It was Bill Murray, and who was the other person in Spies Like Us? That would be, oh, no, this would be perfect. Spies, did you ever see Spies Like Us? No. Oh, man. It was great. It was... Uh, Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd. Oh, Not yeah, even yeah, Bill Murray. Not even close. I am so bad wow. today. Well, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray are, like, similar because they were in Ghostbusters yeah. together, right. I think. Were and they? you know what? Yeah. I, like, at this point, based on some things I've heard, I don't know if I'd want to give Chevy Chase a job in our movie. So yeah, what if okay. we no. replace him with Bill Murray? No, it's Steve totally. Martin and Bill Murray. I love Bill We all Spies. love Bill Murray. Okay. Yeah. We'll find a part for Dan Aykroyd somehow, too. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Spies Like Us is about these idiots who are spies and just do a terrible job of it. Sounds and so great. it's like it's yeah. the, the perfect fit. Perfect, so. perfect. Okay, we're yeah. going gonna to kind of like pencil in Henry Cavill for Joshua. I think we still need to get a little okay. more of a yeah. sense just, of Just, you know, yeah. he Josh can have is. his shirt off all the time. It's going to be all right. Yeah, it's just nice to sit here and just think about Henry Cavill. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> goodness. That no, is dude. an honest okay. right yeah. there. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Joshua ro- yeah. rose up. Oh, this is a t- this is three, by the way. Anyone cares? Joshua <laughs> this is three. Joshua yeah. three. Okay. <laughs> Joshua rose up early in the morning. He uh, likes to get up at five, do some sets of, you know, I don't know, like push ups or what? something because okay. he's Henry Cavill. So he's like, God, I got to get yeah. in my morning reps and uh, yeah. get my protein shake, do a little meditation. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, yeah. I okay. love this. I'm loving Joshua in a way I've never loved Joshua before. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, That's funny. I never think of like the leaders of the Israelites from Sunday school as being like hot dudes. Yeah, well, well, you know what? It's kind of the narrative. Okay, yeah, it's true. in Sunday school, yeah. my image of Joshua, the like, images that they always showed us in like paintings and illustrations and stuff like that, is just right. like a kind of generically beardy mm. dude with like a bandana on. Oh, they right. bandanas and, and, on? and robes and robes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's never of them. like that. Yeah, it was very 90s, for sure. Very <laughs> 90s. But I'm definitely into this, like, hotter, younger, no, it's thing. Cool. cooler. Yeah. Yeah. No, I yes. love it. I like okay. it. Okay. So, okay. I love the Bible. Joshua rose up <laughs> early in the morning, and they were moved from Shittim. 
Shoot I can't. Him. I'm sorry. Shoot some ladders. Oh man! <laughs> and came to the Jordan, and he and all the children of Israel, and they lodged there before they passed over. <laughs> What was that about? I don't know. I thought it said logged for a second, and I was like, like we're in a log oh, cabin, like we're logging things. Exactly. But no, lodged. Okay. It happened after three days that the officers went through the midst of the camp, and they commanded people, saying, when you see the Ark of the Covenant, oh, the Ark of the Covenant, ooh, we haven't had yeah. an appearance by that in a while. When you see the Seriously. Ab- yeah, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh your God and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. Yes. Just chase it. Exactly. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Don't come near to it that you may know the way which you mm. must go, for you have not passed this way heretofore. Heretofore. Can you say, hang what? on. What is a space? How, I'm confused. To- <laughs> yeah. A space of 2,000 cubits around the Ark of the Covenant? Yeah. I guess don't it's an, get near because it. it's a nuclear weapon. Yeah, because it's like it. y- yeah. if is it, any one of you could set it off. So like, don't even get <laughs> even remotely close oh. to this thing. It's on a hair trigger. That thing. I was thinking the radiation would kill you, but yeah, maybe that it would just destroy you. Well, but there was yeah. also that theory we read about that it was not radiation, but like that it could somehow store electricity and then oh, and discharge it'll it. It'll zap you. Right, but oh, the Levites zap? know how to like. Coat themselves How in the ground like themselves. in the rubber suit like that Link wears in oh in yeah the oh I love that yeah. thing the thunder suit or whatever it's called I don't know <laughs> something some like thundering that, yeah. thing he has a cool headdress okay okay uh, so I'm picturing now all the Levites in like full on rubber gimp suits <laughs> carrying the Ark of the Covenant <laughs> oh boy and everyone else staying back I like this it's it cool. Yeah, no, this, this is cool. cool. No, Super I love cool. it. I love it. I love jo- this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's a good movie already. Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow Yahweh will do ye wonders among you. Joshua spoke to the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass over before the people. They took up the Ark of the Covenant and they went before the people. Yahweh said to Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so so will be, so will I be with you. (laughs) That was very hard to say. (laughs) So they're going to magnify him? How they're going to make him like even more attractive and amazing? (laughs) <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I assume just more famous and notable, and people are going to know that you are also same a badass, thing. Just like Moses was. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you shall command the priests who bear the ark of the covenant, saying, "When you are come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan." <laughs> Why? Joshua said to the children of Israel, "Come here and hear the words of Yahweh your God." <laughs> Joshua said, hereby, you shall know that the living God is among you and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Hivite and the Perizzite Mm -hmm. and the Girgashite Mm -hmm. and the Amorite Mm -hmm. and the Jebusite. Behold, oh, the- get them out of there. I know all of them. Jeez. (laughs) Yikes. Just getting into the spirit of it. Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth passes over you before into the Jordan. I'm sorry. Can I just ask, like, I guess it makes sense because they don't want to conquer everything. But what if what if God was like, you know what? We're going to take over the whole ding dang world. <laughs> I mean, he probably could if he wanted to. I mean, yeah, it seems like. Maybe this is just a test run. If we can get Canaan, mm, then yeah, we, can we can get everything. <laughs> Well, there's something, okay, but there was something there where they're like, we're not going to try to overthrow the Egyptians. Oh, they seem right. like That's true. too high a level for us at this mm. stage, but we can go to Canaan. But there's, okay, but there seems to be something about, we just want this land. We're okay with the Egyptians existing, even though they imprisoned us, but they still right. seem very important. E- <clears throat> either they're too powerful, so we can't overthrow them, or we want them around for trade or something, but... It wasn't like God was was like, okay, I'm going to mobilize you, and right away you're going to overthrow the Egyptians. That's true, yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like they, yeah, they did some sort of slave uprising and took over the yeah. city or something. You're right, yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Also, it makes me wonder, so I know that Yahweh has talked a lot of trash about the other gods in this region, such yeah. as Malek and whoever else, <laughs> but it's possible that in this world where there are these other gods that maybe 
the other gods in other parts of the world, you know, like maybe some of like the Asian gods and stuff, he's like, uh. mm, I don't know if I can flex with mm. them. They're pretty powerful too. Yeah, Buddha's Peanut pretty powerful gods. over there. You know, and he's like in like the Norse gods. Like, I don't think I could hack that. But Zeus like, is like, yikes, whoa. He's got a big Thunder right? Mountain, big Thunder Mountain Railroad right. over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a big Thunder Mountain Railroad, that classic thing we say about Zeus. But the Canaanites, though. But the yeah, Canaanites they're, they're like, small. They got, they're they got small wimpy, fish wimpy to frag. Gods. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Now, therefore, take 12 men out of the tribes of Israel for every tribe a man. It shall come to pass okay, yeah. when the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the Ark of Yahweh the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of the Jordan that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off. Even the waters that come down oh. from above and they shall it's stand. Water trick. I guess they shall stand yeah, in one yeah. heap in one heap. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh-huh. wait, that, that, that the waters will stand in a heap or the, people I, I don't know. Even the waters that come down from above and they shall stand in one heap. Don't know what that means. Don't know. Yeah. I think they're gonna like stop the flow of the water. Cool. Like they, I mean, I mean, Yahweh's done it before, right? Yeah. We know that Yahweh can bend water. He's a water bender. Mm. But I know that. Oh, know he's, he can an air, that. he's an airbender, but a water bender, like a, a la, the Avatar, the last water bender. Right, yes. Yahweh, the last airbender. Yeah, <laughs> also oh, water bender. Oh, okay. okay. I thought it was just like <laughs> Avatar, like Avatar, the the movie by James Cameron. Well. Avatar 2 right. coming soon to a theater near you. What I was trying to say, though, is that even the fact that Rahab mentioned this as like, we know how awesome Yahweh is. He even did this. So, you know, we're, we're going to melt you. You're going to melt us. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to melt you. And so now you. they're coming in. They're coming in and they're doing like, we know that you know this is our one of our powers. So we're going to show you right away. Oh, Look, we're going to show you our water bending. Is stopped. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do about that? Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I got it all figured out. Perfect. It, ha- uh, yeah. Okay. It happened when the people removed from their tents to pass over the Jordan, the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant being before the people. And when those who bore the Ark were come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests who bore the Ark were dipped in the, <laughs> the brink feet, of the water, feet, the feet. <laughs> <laughs> was that a mistake? The multiple feet, <laughs> but the singular feet or the multiple feet. Uh, okay. Because feet okay. is also plural. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just like saying feet. <laughs> okay, the, when, sorry, when the feeties of who? That is <laughs> the, the priesties. The priesties. The feeties the of the priesties. <laughs> who bore the ark were dipped in the brink of the water, for the Jordan overflows with all its banks all the time of harvest. That the waters which came down from above stood and rose up in one heap a great way off at Adam? At Adam? What? It says Adam. Adam. Yeah, that was a that's a that's a city, I think. Adam. Okay, it's Adam? A, it looks like Adam, you know, like It does like look like Adam. Adam with a rib that became Eve. <laughs> well, one one less, but yeah. Yeah. The city that is beside <laughs> Zarathan and those that went down toward the sea to Arabah, even the salt sea, were wholly cut off, and the people passed over right against Jericho. The priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh stood firm on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel passed over on dry ground until all the nation were passed clean over the Jordan. Cool. Wow. That was freaking awesome. Also, I do not remember this at all. Yeah, I so don't what? This. Like, I vaguely remember this. The water went away. Like, did the did the water basically like go like on either side? Like, it was kind of like Red Sea parting shit or something. Like, or did it like rise in the air in a heap? Or what was happening here? But it Will says that it rose up in w- in one heap, a great way off. Yeah, that it was like <clears throat> damn, like essentially that it was like damned way back, far away at this place, Adam or Adam or whatever. <laughs> Let me paint a let me paint a picture of how I imagine this. Okay. Let me let me know. This, this, so we're at our pitch meeting for the movie. Let's hear it. It's like okay, 
So here's the deal. Okay. Everyone okay. knows Do you have about, storyboards? I have what's, the, s- what's the budget? <laughs> Many storyboards. Yeah. It's large. For this scene. A lot. <laughs> it's a lot. 500 yeah. million. I'm assuming we're going to have a, a, yeah, a very fat VFX budget for this oh, scene. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so everyone, here's my pitch. Okay, everyone knows about the parting of the Red Sea. Yes. We've all seen it. It's one of the like earliest, like big notable special effects that have been done in Hollywood. It's yeah. great, right? It's been done so many times, and yeah. it's awesome. But much like myself, you never get told about this second story where they do kind of the same trick again, but a little different. And it's awesome. It's super cool, right? Because this is now a new generation of Israelites getting to see this awesome thing that we can do that they've only heard stories about. Because no yeah. one no one who's alive now was alive back then, right? So pretty awesome, number one. Um, so here's how it goes, right? The river, it's like a big river, right? Imagine okay. like, you know, real big. The Jordan River is a big river, right? <laughs> real big. Big river. You real can't big. get across it. Okay. It's probably a few places where there are maybe bridges or ferries or something to get across. And so that's where you're going to have your guard towers. But instead, the Israelites come along. They just walk up to wherever they want, step into it, and bam, on the side where the water's coming down, the water like piles up, like stacks up high and kind of makes like a wall of water. So that then the people who are like in the suburbs can't get in to like help fight. Right. And and then also all the people are guarding the bridges, but all the Israelites can just walk on mass across the river because they're standing there with the Ark of the Covenant, making there be no water there. Okay. But so instead of like the Red Sea where there's water on both sides, because this is a river, the water's just on one side and then it all just dries up the other way, you know? No, oh, I see. So the rest of the river keeps on flowing away. It and flows it dries away and up. it's gone, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. So what is this nonsense about it being a far way off at Adam or whatever? I'm, I'm assuming you could see Adam. But it's like you start to see the water pile up I off in the see. distance. Okay. You know, create this like wall All right. so that, that Canaan can't get its reinforcements All right. from the suburbs in the dom. Great. <laughs> All right. And you see people Sweet. trying to like get through it, but they can't because it's like too Oh, so too it makes big. this wall that goes beyond the banks of the river so that the people can't even. Like it, the, the river becomes a wall is what I'm imagining. Oh. So the other people who maybe could get across bridges or ferries before, now they can't because the water's like standing up like a big wall. I huh. see. Okay. okay. It's going to be really cool. Trust me. It's going <laughs> to be like one of the yeah. set I think pieces. I need, I need to sure. see some some previs on okay. this. Okay. No problem. Maybe some storyboards at the yeah. very least. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. So yeah, but that's it. But then instead of having to get across a bridge or something, they get to walk their whole army all at once, which the Canaanites didn't see coming. Yes. Right? Yeah. So uh, Joshua 4. Here we go. It happened when all the nation were clean passed over the Jordan, <laughs> or clean done passed over, <laughs> that Yahweh spoke to Joshua saying, take 12 men out of the people, out of every tribe a man, and command you them saying, take hence out of the midst of the Jordan, out of the place, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, 12 stones, hmm. and carry them over with you and lay them down in the lodging place where you lodge this night. So they're not even going to fight right away. They're just going to take a nap with these 12 <laughs> stones. Okay. Then Joshua called the 12 men whom he had prepared of the children of Israel out of every tribe, a man. And Joshua said to them, pass over before the ark of Yahweh, your God, into the midst of Jordan and take up every man of you a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the this tribes. This is going to be really heavy. And these are going to be big, like on your shoulder. Yeah, these are like big stones. Yeah, yeah. really heavy stones, yeah. yeah. According to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you, that when your children ask in time to come, saying, what do you mean by these stones, Daddy? <laughs> then you shall tell what? them... <laughs> what do you mean by these stones? Then you shall tell them, because the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant... When it passed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off, like I said. And (laughs) these stones shall be for a memorial to the children of Israel forever. To, like, remember this cool thing. This cool thing that happened. Okay. Okay. Because we haven't set up a gift shop yet, so we got to make our own We have to do, like, an in memoriam or or memorial stone place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Although I feel like it's weird that they used in memorial, because it seems more like... In memory of a triumph rather than a memorial. In memoriam, like, yeah. Fallen That's true. soldiers or something. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm. Okay. Uh, the children of Israel did so as Josh commanded, 
Joshua. Sorry, I'm Josh. So <laughs> yeah, it's your brother and yeah, my partner. I know. Ridiculous. Did so as Joshua commanded and took up 12 stones out of the midst of the Jordan. As Yahweh spoke to Joshua, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, and they carried them over with them to the place where they lodged and laid them down there. Joshua set up 12 stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they are there to this day. Are oh, they? So he left them in the are river. Are they really? Well, well, to that day, whatever day this was when they said this. <laughs> so like a week later when they wrote it? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, they're there to this day. I see. So they didn't bring them with them. They left them in the Jordan? Like... Oh, maybe it, he's saying bring them to the river so we can erect them rather than huh. to but take them from put the them, river. He put them where the priests' feeties, the priestess' feeties were, <laughs> yeah, and leave them there. And so even when the water flows back through again, these stones are there. These monuments, or well, it did say that they stood on the kind of on the edge of the river because the river was oh, always flooding up over. I see. So they yeah. just had to step their feeties in the water and not actually walk out into the river. Okay. So maybe there's so like this series the of 12 rocks there that's like, this is where we stood and did cool, cool, powerful water bending. Huh. Sure. Okay. Right? Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they did it and they did the stuff and there they are to this cool. day. For the priests who bore the ark stood in the midst of the Jordan. Okay, maybe it is in the midst. Until everyone was finished that Yahweh commanded Joshua to speak to his people, according to all that Moses commanded Joshua. (laughs) Got to mention the chain of command there. And the people hurried. The people hurried and passed over. It happened when all the people had completely passed over that the ark of Yahweh passed over with the priests in the presence of the people. I guess... Because it had discharged all its powers, so it could be close to people now, maybe? I don't know. The children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh passed over armed before the children of Israel as Moses spoke to them. About 40,000 ready armed for war passed over before Yahweh to battle to the plains of Jericho. On that day, Yahweh magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him. Oh, as they feared Moses, he's like a Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> All the days yes. of his life. <laughs> to everyone who uh, so, okay, knows about this, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So this was <laughs> so this was like Joshua's debut of being a badass. Was this water right. oh, the water bending? See, so Henry mm-hmm. Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, uh, all right, I like it. So yeah, so this was like such a big achievement and the magics were so cool and the water bending was so epic that they were like, oh man, Josh- Joshua, yeah. He's the real oh, deal. Man. He's legit. Because they feared oh, him man. all the days of his life. So he was yeah. legit. Okay. Yahweh spoke to Joshua saying, command the priests who bear the Ark of the Testimony that they come up out of the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests saying, come you up out of the Jordan. It happened when the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh were come up out of the midst of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up to the dry ground, that the waters of the Jordan returned to their place Uh. and went over all its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month and encamped in Gilgal on the east border of (laughs) Gilgal on the east border of Jericho. These 12 stones, which they took out of the Jordan, okay, yeah, out of the Jordan, did Joshua set up in Gilgal. He spoke to the children of Israel, saying, when your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, what mean these stones, daddy? Again, like you're still (laughs) asking, child? Didn't you already ask, and did I not already explain to you, small child? What are these stones, daddy? Daddy, I forget. What are these? Why stones? does it say what mean these? What stones? mean these stones? <laughs> They're children. What mean these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land, for Yahweh your God dried up the waters of the Jordan from before you until you were passed over, as Yahweh your God did to the Red Sea, which He dried right. up from before us until we passed over that all these people of the earth may know the hand of Yahweh that is mighty, that you may fear Yahweh your God forever. Wow. Of course. Wow. Amazing. This was cool. Can I just... Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe that's presumptuous of me or bold or something, but this was... Josh was cool so far. He is pretty yeah. cool, I will say. He's a cool guy. Well, just guy. like the book itself is cool. 
That's what I mean. Yeah, the, the, I mean the book and the person. It's just like cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, way yeah. more fast paced. Think like so much action. There has been a lot of action. Right that's here. true. That's true. No, very few laws reiterated very few so laws. far. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that's gonna stick around. <laughs> yeah. Can't jinx that. I one. feel like once we're over, Joshua is gonna have to be like, oh yeah, and I thought of some laws. <laughs> Let me tell <laughs> In you the about interim. them. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. Rahab. Who knows okay. what's going to happen to Rahab, yeah. if they're going to make good on their deal or not. Mm, yeah, you're right. Maybe we shouldn't research too much in the bonus because oh, there yeah. might be spoilers. Yeah, quite Might have possibly. to carefully read ahead and okay. see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, Emily, had you heard any of the book of Joshua before? Not that I recall, no. I know. No, I mean, I have heard of... No. I wouldn't I've heard so, of Jericho, yeah. but that's a, like not anything else. So, No. From the TV show, or or do you remember anything about... Literally like, just the TV show. <laughs> there's no songs that come to mind when you hear the word Jericho or Joshua. Was it in, like, Don't Fear the Reaper or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love that. I mean, I maybe it was. That. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, that's no, great. That's cool. Yeah. So we got another we got another big hit song coming up here. Um, so. Oh, do we? Uh, about Joshua oh. and Jericho. Oh, I do you, see. Do you not know the song? Uh, maybe once we get there, I will. Okay, I'll sing it for you when we get there. Okay, good. Um, what do you think is going to happen next time? Uh, well, now we're there. We're in. Wait, we're in Jericho now, so we're gonna like yeah. totally take it over, and like shit's gonna get real. And I want to see like what's <laughs> gonna happen with Rahab. Is she gonna? Mm -hmm. she going to, you know, keep to her word? And are they going to keep to their word? And is God going to kill her ultimately? Is God going to be like, you know yeah. what? No, we're not going to do this. I don't know. I, mean, you know what? I remember that you're a woman. Yeah. So, Dedeker, do you remember what happens to Rahab? Do you know? Because I don't. I don't remember that story at all. I remember the name and that's it. I remember a little bit. Okay. So you know some. I know some. Okay. I know right. some of what's coming next. Oh. Of what happens with Jericho. I mean, I know some of what's coming with Jericho, but I don't remember Rahab. Yeah. I don't remember her involvement with it. Because they do take over Jericho, but in a very particular, uh -huh. special way. Uh-huh. That there's a song about. That's what I keep trying <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> You'll have to okay. Joshua you next took time. over Jericho in a peculiar way. <laughs> you're so close, Emily. Honestly, you're not that far off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. All right. If you, the listener, would like to get a toast on this show, you can sign up to become one of our parishioners at patreon.com slash drunkbiblestudy. Thank you for joining us for Bible Study today. If you want even more Drunk Bible Study, including ad-free episodes, early releases, toasts on the show, and more, become one of our patrons at patreon.com slash drunkbiblestudy. If you enjoy the show, take a moment to subscribe and then write us a nice review on iTunes or Stitcher letting other people know what the heck you liked about it. <laughs> Find us on Twitter at Drunk Bible Cast, on Instagram at Drunk Bible Study, or send us an email to info at drunkbiblestudy.com. Drunk Bible Study is created and produced by Emily Matlack, Dedeker Winston, and me, Jace Lindgren. Our theme song is Book Club by Josh and Anand from their album, Home of the The The. For more information, visit us at drunkbiblestudy.com. you know